Just saying, oh, you gotta believe in yourself, that's fine, okay? Like a bee believes in itself. Is it a confident bumblebee? Keep a hustle on the side, I'm working out of five. I'm running for the crew, the picture in the view. They're loving what I do, you know that's nothing new. I catch another flight, I'm sleeping in the sky. I'm looking to expand, I'm growing up the land. I'm spending all the cash, they double and come back. The future sure looks nice. You know, every day, I'm negotiating multi, multi-million dollar deals. I'm pitching huge developers, which is totally crazy. And, or I'm giving keynotes to hundreds of people, talking about sales, talking about everything. And people ask me the same question over and over and over. How did you get so confident? And so that's what I want today's vlog to be about. I wanna to talk to you about confidence. So what is confidence? Confidence is a feeling of self-assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities. To me, confidence is just that. It's being sure of your abilities to just get shit done. Um, can, I, can I take it back? Can I just say like, but like there's, there's layers to this, right? It's not just saying, oh, I feel good about what I'm doing. I can get it done. Like what the fuck does that even mean? Because now you're probably saying to yourself like, okay, Sir Hant, you've been doing this for a long time. Obviously you're confident. I've never done anything that I think I'm good at. How am I gonna be confident in anything? So let's stop for a second. Let's realize that there are a lot of things that you can actually do that you just don't ever think about the fact that you're good at them and realize how people look at you. I think confidence, which kind of goes into your personal brand, all kind of starts with the perception that people have of you. So like down to what you wear. Right. What drives me so crazy right now is people are so focused on not presenting themselves in a good way. Now you don't have to wear a suit and tie if you're a dude. You don't have to wear a nice dress or a pantsuit if you're a girl. You can wear whatever you want. But if you're not presenting yourself at your absolute best version of yourself, then you don't have the right to complain when you don't get that opportunity or this opportunity or that opportunity. I think in our first vlog ever, like three years ago or whatever that was, I said, the first impression is the last impression if you're not smart about it. And so I wear this, not because I'm like, oh, you know what feels good on my skin? Pressed shirts, really tight thighs, legs, no. I don't wake up every day and say, I wanna jump right into a suit. No, I do it because it's a job. You know why? Because I'm showing respect to the people that I'm going to encounter. If I dress for me, that is showing the world my attitude is for me first. I am taking a selfish approach to everyone else in the world and saying, I woke up this morning and I'm going me first all day long. And I don't wanna do that. First of all, I'm in sales, okay, so that's important. I wanna take a you first attitude. I want people to see me and say, ah, this guy cares about other people before he cares about himself. He's that confident, and that's what the suit is all for. And when you feel that way, you just feel like... So it's, it's one, it's how you look, it's how you present yourself to the world. If you've read Big Money Energy or listened to it, it's a big part of what we talk about and it's not bullshit, it's not superficial because it makes you feel better and you're not going to be confident if you don't feel good about yourself, right? Sorry, I had to say that a little bit slow. I think I just need to enunciate so you understand what I'm saying because it's really, really important. If you look good, you also feel good. That's why fitness is a big thing for me. I worked out this morning. It's super early right now. Right. Do I want to wake up and do this? No, I'm tired. But physical health is how I get my mental health right. And I want to be active, right? Hated it. Sucked. You know why? Because I fell asleep after midnight, woke up at 4.15, only four hours plus minus of sleep, but I still got up and I still went to the gym and I still muscled through it. Was it the best workout I've ever had? Nope. Will it totally change my life? I don't know, but you know what it did? It got my mind ready. And what are the way am I gonna work my mind? Am I gonna wake up at four in the morning or five in the morning and read a book? I don't think so, I'll fall back to sleep. And so your body physically is way bigger than your brain physically. When you get your body moving first thing in the morning, what does it do? One, it starts your day on the best foot forward. You're also getting the hardest part of your day done before anything else. That's I think was vlog number two three years ago. 
I mean, the hardest part of my day is now over, right? Even though now I feel like I'm gonna throw up all over the place. And three, you are setting the right first impression for your entire day. And sometimes it doesn't even have to be a crazy physical activity. Sometimes it could be even just a little TLC for yourself. There is an idea of Orion Sirhan. If you're gonna wake up tired and groggy, you are going to set the message straight for the rest of the day that this is gonna be a tired and groggy day. And we only have so many days on earth. Like, I could be dead tomorrow, you know? Another pandemic, hit by a bus. This is New York City, there's crime everywhere. So I want every single day to start on the absolute best foot forward, even if I don't feel like it. Because there's a lot of people out there who don't get the opportunity to feel like it or not feel like it. Which is why I wanna do something right now I've also never done before that might scare me a little bit. What is that thing? Uh, skateboarding. Aha! Faster. Okay, that's a fest. No helmet. <laughs> now, have I always been confident? No. No. Are you crazy? If you know my story, if you've been following along for all this time, and by the way, if this is the first video you've ever seen, please like, please subscribe, please share this with your friends. The YouTube algorithm loves it, and I want to keep making great content for all of you. I was born in Texas. I bounced around eight times before I was in fourth grade. If you had told me that I was gonna be a power real estate broker in Manhattan, who would one day start his own real estate brokerage firm and would be doing deals north of $100 million a pop, I would have been like, what, is that a movie? Like what, that's not real, that's not, that's not real. But what's amazing is that if you think it, anything can happen. Don't let your dreams be dreams. When I was a little kid, I was overweight and had terrible skin. It was terrible at sports. I had a really tough time making friends. I didn't know what else to talk about. And I bounced around from school to school to school. And so it was really, really, really tough. But I just knew that one day, when I got a little bit older, I would be able to do whatever I wanted to. And I would be able to put my mind to something, whatever that might be. And I didn't know what it was gonna be. At first I thought it was gonna be acting. I... And in case you're wondering, I have enough to kill both of you and still have some left over for Holden. Didn't work out, ran out of money. And that starts the real estate story. What do you do in New York City when you run out of money? You move home, you become a bartender, waiter, something like that. You sell your body on the side of the street like Adrian, or you get your real estate license. It's like one of those things. You could also go back to school, but who really does that anymore, honestly? And I slowly but surely with my back up against the wall, learned the power of building your own self-confidence. Because if you believe in yourself, and you believe in the future you. And confidence isn't also just believing in yourself. Like, I wanna be careful that I'm not saying that either because at the same time, like that's, you know, just saying, oh, you gotta believe in yourself, that's fine, okay? Like a bee believes in itself. Is it a confident bumblebee? You like jazz? Putting in the work, doing the endless repetitions, and gaining that experience are all going to drive you to be more confident in yourself, which is going to allow the world to see you as a confident person, and you're gonna wake up happier, you're gonna go to bed happier, and you're gonna lead a more fulfilling life. At the end of the day, that's, that's what I want, and that's what I want for everybody. And so, I didn't get this confidence overnight. Like, one, I'm 37 years old now, okay, crazy. I got into real estate, totally insecure, no confidence whatsoever, Exactly 13 years ago, this month, 2008, I was taking my real estate licensing class on 35th Street in Midtown, ready to go headfirst into a business I knew absolutely nothing about. Nothing about, in a city I was totally unfamiliar with. Insane. And so I had no idea what I was doing. But over time, I grew that confidence, and I'm telling you, you can too, and it can start today. 